What's up guys, my name is Stone. Welcome to these reviews, or welcome back if it's not your first time here. Today I'm doing a very special album with a very special person. Introducing my friend and personal bandmate, not personal, Ian Moran, come on down bro. Shalom. Shalom, dude. Now today- Thank you, Thank you for having me by the way. Of course bro, thank Excited you for being alive. Be in here. Yeah. Uh, we're in we're in YouTube. We're in the YouTube Is this land. what the YouTube feels like? Yeah, this is what it's like to be famous. Yeah. Wow. Today we're not doing some hippie trippy psychedelic album. No, no, no. We're getting down in the trenches tonight with some fucking My War by Black Flag, released in nineteen eighty four or eighty three, one of those years. I noticed it said nineteen eighty three on there, but when you look on Spotify it says nineteen eighty four. And we all know the internet's correct, so Yeah. What Abraham Lincoln say? Like, don't trust anything you read online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're well, either misinformed or uninformed. Damn straight. Yeah, I think Ben Franklin said that. Fuck yeah. Anywho, sorry, I'm already rambling. Don't, don't turn off the video yet. Uh, this album was released 1984 or three. Sees the band uh, experimenting a little, trying out some new stuff, which in turn made critics and their own fans hate them. Which I kind of see, I feel like for this, uh, especially the second side of this album with the last three songs being really slow, I could see it being a problem for some people, not what they expected, but this album has grown a lot of respect over the years. It's one of the, my favorite albums. It's aged well. It's aged well, like a fine taco. Yeah. Like a really fine taco. But I want Ian to come in here and uh, review with me just because I showed him the first song and it seemed like he really liked he it. He got me hooked on Black or some of, or actually this album. Mm -hmm. uh, when I first saw it, it's very ominous and just looking at it, it's very uh, scary. Yeah, which is fitting because the music is kind of scary. The music is very scary. And when I heard My War, I was the first song, the first track, mm -hmm. I was blown away. Um, so much so that. I said, hey, I want to do an album review. He said, why don't we do My War? I was like, dude. Oh yeah, this album, like, though I like a lot of different stuff, as you guys might have seen on my channel, this is like the first album that really opened me to just listen to new stuff. Like, I realized, like, I was just listening to the same songs all the time. This was, yeah. was this your first album, too? Well, yeah, when I actually, this was the first vinyl I ever bought, crazy. Yeah. Kind of showed off a little without dropping it, but yeah. Not much to it, but just some nice reissue. To go into the track listing, though, we already kind of talked, touched on probably the best song on the album, in my opinion. The title track, My War. I mean, it's one of the most definitive punk songs, in my opinion. Would you disagree? I would say it's definitely in my top ten, maybe top five. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's up there. It's very just, it sets the tone. Mm -hmm. for the years to come um before it just has that anger kind oh, of angst yeah. to it henry rollins kills it vocally yeah. on here especially on this track like my favorite moment for it this whole song is like towards the end where it sounds like he's like i can't tell if it's him singing or if the guitar is like just droning oh towards the end he's of like yeah. oh yeah Dude, that part killed me when i first heard that also like about three-fourths into, into it like after like the bridge was like and if i had a gun like, he says my war so, like, aggressively. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's screaming it like you can just feel the fucking angst. No, it's like, yeah, I think, like you said, this not only defines a lot of punk music, but I feel like, like you said, it sets the tone for the rest of the album because, like, he goes fucking hard on some of these songs, especially on my war, just, like, you feel the rage in them. Like, I remember thinking, I'm like, man, this guy sounds like he's going Piss insane. Off, dude. Like, it's his war. Yeah, it's like... Talks a lot about, like, his in, like his mentals, too, throughout this, the album. No, yeah, that's what I like about it. It really gets you in his head, almost, which I don't think he was playing an act, you know? No, it's like he's, he's nuts. And then to go to the next song, another banger, in my opinion. Maybe it's a lot longer, which is why a lot of punk people didn't like it, but can't decide... Maybe the lyrics are a little funny. I like the going for a drive, going yeah, to the store. Yeah, he's actually nuts. Like, he's just, like, all over the place. Mm -hmm. Can't decide, bro. And then, what else? Be My Head Against the Wall. So, for my opinion, it's a good, it's decent. Um, But just the, the, the name of the song is kind of what 
Oh, dude, that song goes honestly. Beat my head against the wall. I love the tempo changes in that song where it kind of goes that into was course, really like nice. swimming yeah. in the mainstream. And honestly, that was like, one of the first songs. There's not a lot of punk stuff I like to play on drums, but that song I really love playing on drums. And to oh sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just gonna go to the next one. Oh, uh, wait. I'll just say real quick for Kim to side. I just say that song goes fucking hard. I don't know. I really gotta emphasize how hard these songs Inside go. Side is decent. Um, but after decent. thanks, bro. I love you. That's actually the next name oh, of the song. See, see little double entendre. Um, I love you is um, it's very cheese, but I like that. Oh, is this screen? No, not yet. Oh, okay. But, um, it's very, it's cheese, but it's like, I kind of like it. It's, for a punk, it's it's nice. Is uh, that the end of side one? or No, two more songs. I mean, just to give my input on it, oh, too. Yeah. I think I love you, like, I'd say it's probably my least favorite song on the album, but, like, musically, it's amazing still. Like, I'm not putting it down. The lyrics for me are a little cheese. It took a while for me to really get into the song, just the way he's like, I love you. It just sounds... That part sounds cringe. Like, I see why people didn't like that. Yeah, if you're, like, a punk rocker in the 80s and you're just, yeah. Even, smart. like, even though I know he's trying to be, like, sadistic about it, it just still comes off kind of, like, eh. But regardless, great I song. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And then the next song, uh, Forever Time. We have a list right here. Yeah, because we're forgetting. Forever it. Time is my third favorite song off this album. Oh, yeah. Forever Time. I really like this one. It's very just, like... I mean, all of them are like this, but mm -hmm. this one has a different. I love it. the sporadic nature of the beginning, where the solos just don't sound like they're they're in time with the drums, which the drums sound amazing on the song too, by the way. And just again, my, like the title track, his vocals on this song are killer. Yeah. Just the way I don't know. Yeah, he really screams. Know that's why I like it. So he just, he's like, he's pissed off. Mm -hmm. Like, the first minute of the song, or the first part where he's singing is just so like in your face like i was playing it today on the way here mm. in my car and it's just like you feel the song like you feel yeah. it that's what i like about henry rollins he's he makes you feel his anger no definitely he's he's great at shouting but yeah. like i cannot imagine how, how he was able to do this yeah, yeah i was gonna say like it's crazy how his ability to shout and scream these songs you know, as a tour and yeah. shit. I mean, maybe, like, I never heard the live stuff from Black Flag, but I imagine maybe he toned it down a little. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, I will say, I meant, the thing I said about the beginning for Forever Time, I meant for the next song, actually, which closes side one. The Swinging, Swinging Man. Man. Yeah, that, Swinging that's Man the Hawkins. one. Yeah, that one, like, the beginning, that's what I meant. Like, Man. the way it's, like, crazy guitar solo, like, that's wild, in my opinion. And then, yeah, I think, you know, it's just a banger of a song. What do you think? Sweet Man's good. Um, I think the second half, I, I like the first half a little more. I think you have a different opinion. Um, first half is better for, I like it more. Mm -hmm. um, especially the last track, which we'll touch on. Um, but, yeah. And then nothing. You said it's your, sorry, you said it's your second favorite song? Sweet. Probably fourth off the, off the album. If any, if you're able to, we'll, we'll rank the songs we'll at rank the very the songs. end. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. To, okay, unless you have any more thoughts about Swinging Man, I'd say that's all side one right there. And I think side one is like what most fans wanted from this album. Even if some of the songs are a lot longer than two minutes, boo hoo. Yeah, sorry, fucking punk yeah. kids from the 80s. Go punk yourself, you know? Yeah, go punk yourself. Now, anywho, I'd still say side one is fucking badass, but it really, um, subverts your expectations when listening to side two which in fact was inspired by black sabbath music the side of the last three songs really? like yeah. so, which is cool like, you kind of see it like it's a combination of like punk and metal therefore making a lot of people say sludge metal you ever heard of sludge metal mm -hmm. kind of like melvin's just, like, yeah. mm -hmm. just fucking like gross gritty disgusting and they i'd say this pioneered that kind of stuff or in some way and then there's nothing left inside, is that? Yeah, that song, one of my favorites from this album. Just the drums in the beginning, and then that... Can you pass me that real quick? The guitar. Yeah. The, I just want to play that. It's the only riff I know it's from the album. my guitar, by the way. Ooh. He plays guitar, he play these. I mean, just the riff itself, it's literally just like... Always be prepared. Sounds out of tune, but you know what I mean. No, I mean, that's all I want to show. Just that 
Fuck it, that's a doomy ass riff, you know? Even though it's just literally just the easiest thing. Like a kid could do it. Yeah. But Grey Gin does it with pride. Gin. Or gin, whatever. I prefer whiskey. Mm, same. But no, I mean, what do you what else do you think about the song? I think it's <laughs> I think it's decent. I think the second half for me I kinda I listened to do it, um I'm sorry man. Uh, okay. asked I guess opinion. opinions, opinions are Yeah. <laughs> freaking bag over here <laughs> uh, second half <laughs> second half is to me just i listened to it nothing really caught my attention except for the last track like i said uh <laughs> so excited with the last track well i can't wait to talk about the last track. i mean i will admit like it's tough to review these three songs it's not tough but like they do sound very similar like i think for me when i first heard the second half it really felt like um, you're really plummeting, like you're really ch sledging through. Not that you say sledge again, but yeah, because after that you get to this song, Three Nights, which is another fucking banger in my opinion. Just the this one really fucking scared me with the way he's like, stick me, stick me at the end. One of his heart, three in each size, you know, fucking like, uh, I'll stick me. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, do you think it sounds any different? I mean, I don't think it sounds too different from Scream and Never <coughs> Left Inside. Scream, the next one, the final track, Scream. Probably, it's like, it's growing on me. It's my war, number one, but Scream is like, it's right there. Mm -hmm. I think Scream offers us a different type of um, ambiance that the other songs in the second track. Here it is. I love it. It's yeah. like Black Sabbath, very Black Sabbath. That's actually weird you said that. Yeah. Or not weird. It's, it makes sense because mm -hmm. as I was listening, it, was like, it reminds me a lot of the opening track to Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Just the like, kick drum. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. But then that bass comes in. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that, now that you kind of bring the song up, I will admit, there's a fucking guitar breakdown that goes oh, so, yeah, yeah, that yeah. thing goes so hard. Yeah. Like. It I, sounds I, off, but then they bring it back. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, okay. And they really make it work, and I think for this being like, obviously not like the, the last song on the album. I think like I said, it, it is tough to get through in my opinion, just because it's like you already heard two slow ass songs, and then you got I this, love this one. one. I love the lyrics. I've you got do. nothing better to do, or nothing left to do, than listen to I, you. It's just so that, like it's so easy, but yeah. it, I love it, dude. That's what I love with uh, punk stuff. You just don't like give a you don't like give a frick, bro. A frick, a flying freaking burrito. It's flying frick in the wall. Yeah. But honestly, I think this, like I said, scream has grown on me. I do feel like some of the lyrics are a little cheesy. Like, even though I will say I like the part. He's like, I might be a big baby. baby. Yeah, I love that. I'll scream. Oh my god, it's fucking. It goes hard. See, I, I, honestly, we don't really write stuff like this, but we need to write a song like the second half of this album. Just like one, just one. Oh yeah, we're in a band too. Yeah, I'll, right here. I'll put a tag on the Insta, or wet Insta possums. in the description. Wet possums, you know? But yeah, um, let me ask. So you, would you say your favorite side of the music or the album is side one? Side one and my top three songs are probably My War, Scream, and forever time nice. I'd say you? for me I love both sides regardless like I'm not saying one's better than the other but for me the atmosphere on side two is just impeccable it's very you can't like it's like like yeah it's fucking it's that it's <laughs> you know and it's just yeah. really like I love the atmosphere it has it really oh, yeah. kind of has a zappa feel to it Kind of. Honestly, it kind of has like a tone he would use. Yeah. But, uh, I'd say my favorite three songs, though, are My War, Nothing Left Inside. I don't know. It's tough. Like, okay, what about I'll do My War, Can't Decide, then Three Nights. I think Three Nights just, that's the one that really fucking shook me with fear. But this, if you're down, I'll try to rank the songs from worst to best, in my opinion, or at least favorite to favorite. So I say Love You. I love that one. It's a good one. I know it's a good one. It's a good one. But there's just so many bangers, you know? I'd say Love You. What else? Um, Swingin' Man. I go all the place. Scream. Three Nights. No, wait. I give up. Never mind. Well, you can try. I'll just leave it at my top three. Uh, my least so, favorite one. 
Just the spite stone is probably can't decide. Just because yeah. I can't decide. Can't decide. Um, but um, yeah, my war, Black Flag, great album. No, it is. I'm glad you were willing to review it with me. When I get the Shags album, I'm gonna get this guy to listen to it. I swear, he's a big fan. I he just hate doesn't the Shags. know it. Oh, you know what's really cool? I actually moshed to my war. Oh yeah, at a punk concert like, what, like the other day. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, for Halloween, it was super fun. You know, um, I don't know if this is true. It's kind of a side topic about this album, but apparently, I read somewhere, or maybe it's a dumb YouTube comment that well, it's guess, on the, if it's on the internet, it's true. It's so. uh, it's true. So sorry, but apparently, Greg Ginn. This is when he started smoking weed a lot more. And I feel like I could see, like, if you listen to the earlier Black Flag albums, they don't have this mood, you know? Yeah. That's why I love this album. This album's just fucking gritty. And I wish they kind of did more stuff like this, which I see. But that's why it's grown um, so well over time, is because it's just... It's got that weed vibe. Like, I could totally, I mean, like, I've smoked this album, and I, I could definitely get some punkers together, like Troy. Yeah. They'd be like, fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I can't. I don't do drugs. All right, drugs are bad. Fuck, guys. Well, anywho, thank you for watching, though. I will Thanks see you in the next the video. Way. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's do it again. Uh, it's honestly easier discussing an album than reviewing it. That's how I think about it. Yeah, th we're having a civilized discussion. Right. And you can join us in the comments. Please do. Join us in the comments. All right. Thank Take you. care.